Welcome back to the show. My name is Kermit the Frog, and today I'm being joined by the one and only Ziffel. Everyone welcome him. Yes. Hello. Yes. Well, welcome studio audience. So, today I'm bringing him here because our original plan was we were going to get some insight to VRChat Fox and VRChat ERP. But we're going to have the originals. We're going to be anime bitches, but they're too busy ERPing. So, they couldn't make it. So last second, Ziphalux kindly decided to pop in and give us a little bit more insight. So, first of all, tell me, what is it like being a furry in the current VR chat world? What is it like? Well, How is things? thank you for having me on the show, Kermit. Uh, it does mean a lot to me to be up here on the stage and represent the furry community, essentially, to all who are watching. So, <clears throat> to answer your question, being a furry nowadays, let me tell you... It's quite a mixed bundle, you see. We get, well, if you go to the furry worlds, you get the ERP. If you go to random public worlds, odds are you're going to get hated on. It's an entire spectrum of either they love you too much and are sniffing your crotch, or they hate you too much and are trying to kick you out. Uh, so it's the entire spectrum. Yeah. How does that make you feel as an individual? How does that make your make you feel your community is being represented by these days? Uh, well, you see, I believe that um, this concept of, well, kind of, you know, going out in public, we will be shamed. It's not just in VR chat, it's in reality too, like public fursuiting, you know, that's shameful. And if you do that, don't do it. But I think that, um, you know, since it's <laughs> not a public thing to do, we see it as kind of an inner, deep, dark secret, right? A little evil that we have within us. That's how we see it. I'm not saying it is evil. I'm saying that's how we perceive it within ourselves. That is what causes the ERP to occur. This moment of glory and joy where we can share this deep, dark secret with someone else. I believe that is the main source for this. The main source, yeah, I understand that. So... <clears throat> If you don't mind me asking, have you ever been to any furry conventions? Could you tell me a bit more about those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me tell you. <clears throat> Out here in VR chat, we've had our couple of uh, furry conventions, things like that. Um, I was there right when the official, like that big furry convention world was released, the one that is in Germany. Um, so the one that furry convention at Germany didn't really work out. So they just made a VR chat world for that and held the entire thing virtually. I was there for a little part of that alone and uh, you know I got my room and I went down just kind of raved to music and all that and the thing is furries on the outside seem surprisingly normal actually I I was shocked I thought they would all be you know in a sweaty orgy in the middle of the, ro uh, the room but no they were acting somewhat normally but then you start digging in a little bit deeper and you start seeing the ass touching and the tail pulling it starts going downhill from there okay so have you taken a part of any of that ERP have you done anything <gasps> such of that well I'm sorry <clears throat> Kermit but I have to say that yes I have before not much but I have I will say did you enjoy it was it an enjoyable experience That's was it more humane or was it like a mix between May like human and dog or any sort of I, animal. I understand what you mean. I will say my experience was a lot less um, emotional than maybe other uh, experiences might be. Mine was kind of a oh we're crazy tonight we're gonna fuck you know. So I went along with it because I'm horny and I'm young and. Uh, <clears throat> As I went along with it, uh, I will say, by the time we both kumithed upon each other, uh, it didn't feel good, actually. So, um, don't do it. <laughs> Unless you really love them. So, are we... Are we talking, like, in real life? Oh. Or are we talking inside the virtual world? Oh, definitely, we're talking about inside the virtual world, for sure. You don't get any... Proper, proper pleasure from doing this stuff. Oh, well. Like real life 
A satisfaction? Well, that's where you gotta get creative, you see. So, uh, I'll be honest, I have a flashlight. And so what I did was I used that during the time to try to, like, position everything correctly to make it so that the flashlight kind of aligned with what I was seeing before my very eyes, and, uh... Yeah. Mm, okay. So, what I mainly wanted to bring you for today is to show us what it's like to be a full body, fully equipped human whatever. So, in here in front of me, I have the Valve Index. This is one of the best VR, ch VR chat things on the it, market. It, excuse me, that's the that's that's best that, VR sets. That's, that's a vibe. I knew that. <laughs> so you need to... Could you stand up for the audience? 